Well, hey guys, Silly Tuck here. And we are back with episode, well not episode, week 14 of WWE 2004. This is Monday Night Raw. Um, yeah, so tonight we are live in MacArthur Court in the Great Lakes region. So let's see what we do. Well, let's all go deaf. All right, first match. 54C minus, and about the featured solid reaction by Notch Way of Heat. Batista defeated John Heinderreich in the 627 by Finfall with a Batista bomb. Uh, minuses, I'll go to Heinderreich because he sucks. Just, he sucks. Uh, with a 56C minus, not much better. And about the featured solid reaction by Notch Way of Heat, Renee Dupree defeated Rosie in 741 by Finfall with a Lore Valley Driver. Uh, that's advanced storyline by accident, because these guys will have to face next week, because reasons. Uh, Rosie improving in performance. Rosie getting all the mice here, because he's just random. He doesn't even know what's going on. With a 67C+, because these guys wrestled a whole bunch of TNA and pulled out some really good ratings, which I'm kind of disappointed they got this. And imagine some good action on its way of heat. K-Quick defeated D'Lo Brown in 737 by Pinfo with a true conviction. Uh... K-Quick and most of the minuses here, which kind of sucks, because I did want to push him a little bit. Uh, with a 50D+, plus, and then Mash had some good action, but not just way feet. Steiner K defeated Spike Dudley and Maven in 808. Went and Lance K defeated Spike Dudley by pinfall with a sit-out spinebuster. Uh, Spike Dudley and Maven have zero chemistry. Lance K improving in rumble and flying, and Spike improving in performance. Minuses, yeah, these two just suck as a tag team. Somebody remind me to never do that ever again. Uh, wow, this match just had a whole bunch of stuff because Mark Henry and this guy should never fight ever. And the match had some good action. Never cheat. Goldberg defeated Mark Henry in 946 by pinfall with the jackhammer. Goldberg was off his game. Match suffered because there wasn't enough shelling. Shelling? Selling. Henry. Uh, it had very little drama to it. Nobody had psychology. Goldberg. Uh, yeah, nothing here too bad. Uh, psychology and selling did a little worse. Uh, so to kick off the show with a 92A, wow, good work, fellas. Triple H is in the ring. Then The Rock comes out. You know, Triple H is you know saying like, even though I lost the title, I'm still the best in this company. You know that good stuff. The Rock is like, well, no, you're not. You lost to me. I have the belt. I'm the best. In this company. Randy Orton comes out and says, Ha ha, Rock. You could hardly beat anybody ever. You suck. You're a has-been. You're a legend. Waiting to be killed. Then The Undertaker comes out and is like, I will kill everything. Because that's what The Undertaker does. Uh, cold crowd. Everybody else got pluses for everything. Good work, fellas. With a 74 B- minus kick out the show. Kick out the show? Kick off the show. But the feature great action, great heat from the audience. Ric Flair defeated Shawn Michaels in 1020 by submission with a figure four leg lock after ear inter inter interference interference from Batista. That was an 82B post match. Batista and Ric Flair beat down Shawn Michaels. Good stuff. With a 60C, uh, Conway and Hurricane don't click at all, which kind of sucks, but they pulled out this rating, so it's quite impressive. Matched some good action, minus way of heat. Robert Conway defeated the Hurricane in 944 by pinfall with an ego trip. Uh, Conway getting minuses here. Actually, all the minuses. Well, almost all of them, aside from holding back. Uh, then with a 75 B minus, Shawn Michaels is backstage because promo on Batista saying, like, I thought this was over. Well, I guess it's not. That type thing. And then with a 57 C minus, which is quite poor considering uh, on Heat last week, they pulled like a 72 B minus, which is really good. Uh, some good action, much wave Heat. Kane defeated Stevie Richards in 549. 559, excuse me, but full of the choke slam. Minuses go to Stevie, booking decisions, and lowering the crowd's mood because I had Kane dominate. Some of the 62C, Joey Styles uh, interviews James Mitchell, and he promotes Kane. Says, haha, Kane. Apparently, James Mitchell is not good on the mic, which is concerning because that's kind of the reason why, I don't know, I brought him in. But is that, is that just me? 
who thinks that should happen. Whatever. So the 69C+, plus, not a good promo from these guys either. Jericho was fantastic. Christian didn't get any minuses either. They cut a promo on basically the entire tag team division, putting them on notice that, hey, we're here, and we're coming after the tag team titles. Uh, with a 75B-, minus, matches some good action and average sheet. Vitamin C defeated Vinny, Vinice. Venus, wow, that was horrible. And Storm in 1021 when Christian defeated Lance Storm by Finfall with an unprettier. Felt Venus improving in performance. And minuses mostly go to Jericho. Boy, and Storm. But Jericho, which kind of sucks because he's like number three now on our thing. On our most over list. So then with a 92A, I regret not putting this on last unless these two other guys come up big. The match had some excellent in reaction, great heat from the audience. Triple H defeats The Undertaker in 1229 by pinfall with a spinning spine buster. Triple H beats The Undertaker. And of course, you know, he's like, I am the best. You know, I told you all I was the best. I am still the best. Then with a 99A star. <laughs> I think I just threw up a bit. And Nash said, excellent in reaction and great heat from the audience. The Rock defeated Randy Orton in 1810 by Pimpo with the People's Elbow. The Rock improving in Rumble. The Rock is improving from Randy Orton. That's insane. Ending the show with an 85B+. Triple H, The Rock, attack The Undertaker, but are stopped by The Rock. So, that's lovely. This show got a 92A, and it's increased our popularity in 29 regions. 99A star. That's like Lesnar and Michael's level of over-craziness. We definitely have a very good thing going on right now on Raw. SmackDown, like I said in my last video, I don't really know what I'm doing with it yet. And I will see you folks at the main title screen. Hooray! And here we are, folks, at the main title screen. We have unread emails waiting. Uh, Raw last night was awesome. Of course it was. Come on. Come on. I'm that good. I'm that good. Uh, right, so Heat. Uh, here are the results. Johnny Nitro is now on the main roster. He pulled a 44 with Maven, which kind of disappoints me, which makes me maybe think he's not ready. And now my buddy, and now Ben Ditch, will, like, hammer on now in the comments, being like, He's ready! He's ready! Uh, but I might send him back down, because, honestly, I don't know if he's ready or not. Looking at him. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, so, Raw is getting its best ratings ever, I dare say. Uh, user stats. No, SmackDown got a 7.53 in February. Wow. That's... That's crazy. That is our best match still. Brock Lesnar defeating Shawn Michaels. Uh, best show was Raw. Yeah, this Raw. This was our best show. So, good work, fellas. Good work all around. Uh, who is mad? Anybody mad? Anybody mad? Anybody mad about anything? Nitro's morale issues. Oh. If I throw money at him, will he still be mad? Nope, he'll be happy. And backstage... Is he on there any longer? Yes, he is. He's still a very negative influence, which kind of sucks, because I'm trying to move away from negative influences doing big things, but I do want him to do big things, really. Um, Alright, so people who don't like each other. Goldberg, like, doesn't like anybody ever. Kevin Nash doesn't like anybody ever. Um, but people who are expendable, though, that don't like each other. Um... Probably looking at it. X Pac could probably go if Bischoff makes a deal about it. Terry could probably go easily. Actually, Terry might go right now because I just don't give a damn. I don't know. I'll see. What's Terry looking like? Uh, I don't even really use Divas wrestlers. So, oh wait, no. Perry Saturn would be. Perry Saturn would be torn. You know what? And the fact that we just got Perry. I'm still flipping back and forth on what I want Perry to do. Whether he's supposed to be heel or face, 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 heel or face. Um, I don't even know. One thing, though, that I did want to check out was Raven. What is he? He's pessimistic, flaky, antisocial, and liberal. So, 
Will he sign with us? Yes. Vince doesn't want him. Stevie thinks it's awesome. Steve thinks it's awesome. Bischoff doesn't like it. Canyon thinks it's good. Mick thinks it's good. He's coming in. Um, so, Raven. Hi, man. How's it going? Jeez. Um, so, my idea for him uh, was something that was said uh, by somebody in the comments. Um, to put him on SmackDown and have him kind of be like James Storm, where he just takes, you know, weird baby faces that aren't doing much and turns them into his cult. Is following, um, and also depending on how. No, I. I was gonna say I might move Stevie Richards over, but Raw, if you can tell, is really struggling for faces. I have like no faces on the Raw brand at all, um, which is why I'm seriously considering making Perry a face and bring him over to Raw, which could happen. I don't know. Still, uh, there's that contract though offered to Raven. Uh, you know what? Screw it. You guys are gonna see some, like, weird creation right now. He can still stay a badass, right? Yeah, he can still stay a badass. Prepare turn. He's a face. He'll be an upper mid Carter on the, uh, Raw brand. Because Raw is really struggling for faces. Uh, right now, if I can show you... Well, no, I probably can't show you the Raw roster. But, compared... Compared to the heel, actually, you know what? Yeah, I can. Why not? Uh, okay. Uh, any airing push, raw faces. Okay, those are in ring faces. All right. Actually, no, no. I'll go male because everybody knows I don't really use the divas just because they're not great wrestlers, and that's kind of what I need. That's how many faces we have. Okay. This is how many heels we have. And I know that doesn't look like much, but when your only upper mid carters are a tag team in, uh, let's go deaf. Uh, when your only upper mid carters are a tag team in the form of the Dudleys, yeah, you kind of start to need to bring people over. Um, and I was, of course, thinking, could anybody turn? Could anybody turn? Which was the whole point of the Rhino Torn. Torn? Rhino Torn, but I don't think I'll do that. In the long run, I'll just bring Perry over, and Perry will be a face on this brand. It'll work out. It'll happen. It'll be cool. Um, why was he going to be on SmackDown? Oh, yeah, because the Radicals. That was the whole plan, but what's Malenko doing? Is Dean... Yeah, okay, Dean Malenko's a road agent at this point, because he's 43. Yeah, is he still a great wrestler? Uh, he's alright. Not not as good as he could be. Uh, strongest like of Kevin Sullivan, but he's got his buddies on his brand, so that's always cool. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Nobody's hurt. Regal's back in 13 days on Raw. What is Regal? Is Regal, uh, Regal's a heel. Uh, face turn could work for him, but I don't really know what I want to do for that. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh... Yeah, thanks. Silly Tuck, signing out.